Hello everybody and welcome to the Frozen Experience. I'm here with Bear, Veebs, Veebrin, Veeb the Dweeb. No, sorry Veebs, that was mean of me. As much as I love you dearly, you know, he's one of those, he just does have a bit of a vacant look in his face sometimes. Although it is a very, very sweet little face. Yes. But all of our horses have such individual characters. Um, they're all like, they're like children really. But better, obviously. No offence to people on here who have children, or if you're a child yourself. But I'm sure you'll know where I'm coming from. So yes, Veebs, he's one of our sanctuary residents, one of our permanent sanctuary residents. Um, he's just waiting here very patiently to go for a lunging sesh in his beautiful orange saddle pad. Personally, I love it, you know. Tracy thought it was a bit bright, but I, I don't know, I just think it is him now. Over here we have Jodie's puppy, Smelly Nelly. She's very, very cute. Hello, Smelly. Smelly Nelly. Hello. Oh, look at your ears. And then over here we have Veebs, his friends, Hennis in the fly sheet, Ice or Eastburn. They're both sanctuary residents as well. Hannes was our first ever sanctuary resident. He paved the way for this. Um, and then Ice and Bear have just arrived recently. So separate cases. Well, Ice and Bear came together, but separate from Hannes. If you want to find out more about our sanctuary scheme, head over to our website. Um, I'll make a more in-depth video about it to go on here as well. Hello, Ice, Ice Baby and Hannes. These two are like definitely they're all really sweet, our three boys, um, but these two are definitely the more pushy, bushy ones. Um, I like to think of these two as like characters, you look at that there, like characters from the in-betweeners. They'd be like Jay and Neil, like always arguing over things, doing stupid things. Whereas little Veebs over there, he's like Neil's dad, the one that just sort of steps back while these two are doing whatever they do together, like almost disapprovingly like, really? It's like in the field, these two are always the first up to you, you know, fighting for the attention and then he just sort of hangs back, walks over nice and slowly as he's the very mature gentleman. And these two are just, I don't even know what they are. As much as I love them both, they're just, yeah. And down here we have the little guy, little Jibby Jabsicles, Mr. JB. He's got quite the name for himself, he's a Netflix superstar. Aren't you little man? He's also very cheeky. Um, he as well, he's not a sanctuary resident, however he is a rescue, came from, from Ireland originally, you're an Irish boy, sorry I can't do an Irish accent. Oh see maybe that's why he has like ginger hair, like orange out from the Irish flag. Oh that's it Jibby Jabsy. And then over there is our Frisian friendship barn, if you need a friend or a space to come relax with one of our children, then um, that is where you need to go. There's, um, I'll show you inside very briefly, but there's more about this again on our website, our Facebook page, our Instagram. It's everywhere. It should be because it is amazing. See, there's some cushions piled there at the moment. Obviously, they won't be in here if you came for a session. Well, unless you want them to be there, you know, you can make yourself a little fort in here if you want. That's fine. Coffee machine over there. Yeah, I will fight you for the coffee. No, I'm joking. Um, and then over here, we have the horse side. Solarium. Obviously, we would also remove the sif out of here. That's to keep it nice and clean, unless you want the sif in here. I mean, it'd be a bit of a weird preference, but each to their own. It looks better with a horse in, by the way. That doesn't really do it justice, but it just gives you the idea. The Union Jacks here is it's the Platinum Jubilee, and we are very patriotic people, as I'm sure you are as well. And then over here, we have flip flops. Hira, one of our old boys, our retirees, one of what we call the original four, you know, the first four Frisians we had here that started this place. He is one of the founders with one of his ladies. Well, he shares his ladies with one of our other original retirees, Hoitzer. But Annie here, Annie. Annie has claimed to fame as that she is a model mare. She does all of our driving. She's one of the ones that actually like earns her keep, you know, by doing her driving. She does village carriage drives so she could take you out around the Cartmore village. You know, she gets dressed up as well in polos um, and a nice peacock saddle pad. We get dressed up in like little dressage hats as well. Um, but yeah, Annie earns her keep, as does the likes of Hannes in stable stays. Whereas the rest of them are just pretty much stay at home house husbands and wives. 
but you know that's fine and that is the nature of this place we have several retirees some horses that can't be ridden due to physical challenges they have um and regardless of whether they can work or not as long as they are happy and healthy individuals they'll always have a home for life here it's not about them earning their keep i mean obviously it'd be ideal if they did because they're not cheap to keep are you no um but you know we have other ways and means which a lot of that is our fundraising um which you all very kindly donate to um, and as well as our horses happiness and well-being is our number one priority but uh, we also absolutely love sharing them with the people and seeing the happiness that they bring to all of you over here we have mabel also known as pepper pig in the middle of her lunging sesh and down here we have the real big boss the real big boss making sure that she clears up after her tiny dog whoa there she is her tiny deranged dog that is jim he's nell's mentor and there is jody jim and nell's person and here is kirsten one of our amazing workaways who has come back for a second time you know we're obviously not that bad <laughs> So we have little Mabel here, also known as Peppa Pig because she loves muddy puddles and she is rather round, having a lunging session with Jodie. So Mabel um, actually had a soft tissue injury, so she was off for about three months, uh, or well, more than that actually, because she was lame. Um, but she's just coming back into some light work now. Um, and Mabel before, we did try to have her as more of a riding horse, more of the schooling, but you know what? That's just not Mabel's thing. She likes to drive. Um, so we'll try to get her doing some more of that. Um, a bit of lunging as well to help get the fitness and strength there. Maybe steer her away more from the riding because that's not really her thing and that's fine. Every horse has a job and a niche that suits them and what they enjoy doing. Look, you see it is it doesn't matter, as I said, you know, whether they can work ridden or driving whether they can earn their keep as long as they're happy and healthy that's all that matters and as we're so lucky with all the land we have here um uh, that's why we have our sanctuary scheme to help out other horses and owners that have found themselves in hard times and aren't able to look after them and yeah because it would be rude not to Beebs still waiting very very patiently and if you've watched this video, you might have me use the ref heard me use the reference our horses quite a lot. Um, if you've watched this video and you like what we do here, well, they're your horses now too, because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. Um, and we will share our journey with all of you too. Um, and you can come along for the ride with us. See what I did there? No, that is not a pun because we do things on the ground and driving as well. So, yeah. And we also offer, you know, check out our website because we offer loads of unique experiences with these wonderful little people. Um, and most of those, you know what, we don't offer riding these days because it wasn't suiting the horses, it wasn't doing them any favours. Um, we offer, what most of what we offer is just being around them, you know, getting, you can get stuck in if you want, get hands on, but you don't have to because they are just so incredibly magical and even me just standing here with little Veebs like this giving him a scratch on his neck there's just something about it that's so amazing but yeah that's just typical Tuesday well it's not really because no day here is a typical day every day is different you know some days not even we not know what's going on that's just the way we roll here in it Veebs yes Smelly Nelly's going to sleep. It's a shampoo bottle, a bit of wall. It's the big barn, this is where everything goes down. Oh, saddle pads, every horse has their own colour. Um, you know, it's just part of their identity, really. Part, um, well, part of their identity helps people tell them apart. And also, what's not to love about them having their own colour coordinated wardrobe. We try to like get them a colour that sort of suits their personality as well. Like this is Hannes's. You know, he's blue because it's just him really. He's quite, he's quite not regal, but just the way he carries himself. He's quite proud as well and 
royal blue, it's, it just suits him. And that is Xiao Qia's. It suits Xiao Qia because as much as I love her dearly, she is slightly strange and slightly deranged. She has lots of, she's a very unique, well all the horses are unique, but she takes being unique to a whole new level. That's one of her outfits actually, she has many because she's such a style icon that you know, it's what she needs. Down there it's around the back, I'm not going to show you it because it's an absolute mess. Um, but you know, it's a functioning mess. Out here we have our little table where we carry out satanic rituals. No, I'm joking, we don't do satanic rituals here. Just we once we found this really cool cauldron while we were tidying up and now it lives out here. And I don't know what it is about it, I just love it so much. Normally, sorry, the head colours are ruining the vibe here. Just let me remove them because they're ruining the aesthetic. You know, you need to appreciate the table in all of its glory. Um, so you just look at that. I don't know why, but there is just something about that table. It's just so cool. Over here we have our pumpkin. A beautiful view. Back to the round pen. Oh. And into the office. Hello. Oh. It's the not real big boss with the real big boss. <laughs> yes. This is where like Tracy's Tracy's the, the big boss when it comes to horses and knowledge of horses, etc. etc. I don't claim to have any knowledge of Yeah, horses yeah, but you are the big boss, you know? <laughs> I am slightly larger than Tracy. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I mean, you know? It's with your big person and strong world personality. That is what makes you the big boss. Strong world. Yeah. 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 It means that everyone's She's chief delegator. She is, yeah. yeah. Chief delegator. Yeah. Right, I'm coming out to work. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Oh Veebs, yeah, yeah, we've seen Veebs. This is our tack room that doubles up as our office. That's there is highly secure, it does have cameras yeah. outside. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. If you know, if you come in here to steal anything, the big boss over there will like bite you. <laughs> and more. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> but yes, that is a brief tour of what this place is and what happens here. And if you want to see more, head over. You know, subscribe to our channel. Hop over to Instagram, Facebook. We have a Facebook page called Frisian Experience Behind the Scenes, which is where we post really loads of really like random videos for you to see and enjoy of, of our Frisian family. As I said, you know, they are Frisian family as well. If you want to be here for the journey, then you are for life. <laughs>